nothing much to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake Behold, my trucker station came to an end But behold, a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music, there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for Good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen Well, the captain is ready to roll So if you guys are, let's come and uh, join the captain today Let's uh, see what I see out of that window, and let's get out of here. Yeah, let's leave the world's largest truck stop behind. That's right, let's leave it behind. We've been here now, so we can freshly said we have been here. So let's get out of here. Let's get back on the big open roads and let's start making our way towards Toronto! Yeah! That's our goal for today. Just make it up to Toronto. <coughs> if I can make it up to Toronto today, that means we all go, we're going to have some master steak. That's right. And as far as I know, you're supposed to exit Eight over nine, there. Turn left on 60th Avenue. CRY. I'm only really supposed to exit over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swing over there. And uh, well, actually, it looks like everybody's exiting out of here too. So, but you know what? I'm gonna go there because I know they got the exit there. Now that's supposed to be an entrance up there. So let's go over there and let's get out of here. Oh, guys, let's take a look at the gorgeous day that we have today. Beautiful sunshine. It's a beautiful, nice, calm day out here. It's not windy at all. Yeah, it's winter, you know. It's a little bit on the chilly side. Not really super cold, but uh, hey, if you get this kind of weather in winter, you should be happy. Yeah, because it's nice dry roads, sunshine, not windy at all. You can't ask for anything better. That's right. Yeah, we're making our way slowly towards Toronto. Yeah, it looks like we got about, I don't know, maybe about an hour till we will hit Chicago. So it uh, looks like I won't have to worry too much for traffic because it's already uh, 10 minutes after 9. And, uh, yeah, so we won't uh, really hit any traffic unless there's an accident or something like that, I think. Then it might still be happening, but other than that, I think we should be able to sail right through it. That would be awesome. Now, I may stop in Gary, Indiana. Or, no, not Gary, Lake Station, Indiana. I may, I just may stop in there. Or maybe I'll go stop in uh, Gary, Indiana. I don't know yet. I haven't made a final decision yet on whereabouts I'm going to stop. We got to take our half an hour break, as you guys know. So, uh, I guess once, it, once we get closer, we will make a final rule. A final ruling, I guess you could say. On where we're gonna stop. Depending on how I feel when I get there, right? I might even just continue on. Yeah. So, I hope all of you guys are having a fantastic day. I know I have. Very good day, actually. Can't really complain about anything today. Even if I had something to complain about, would you guys really want to listen to that? 
I don't think so. Because you probably hear enough complaints from everybody around you already, so... The last person you want to hear complaints from is probably me. <laughs> yeah. I know every once in a while I do have a negative video too, but like I had today, which was a week ago, that was released anyways, but uh, yeah, whatever. Every once in a while that happens, but you know, I try to share my daily life with you guys, and I do have a bad day every once in a while too, so yeah, I figure now ah, once in a while it's okay, but not too often, you know. Anyways, let's continue on cruising along and let's see what happens from here to wherever we end up. See if we see anything interesting and see what's going to happen in Chicago. As you guys can probably see out of the window, traffic is sailing through pretty good up here in Chicago. That's what we would like to see to begin with, right? At least I do. You see how many lanes of uh, highway we got up here? And it's pretty good rolling. That's what I was suspecting at this time of the day. Unless there is an accident, it would be pretty smooth sailing through here. We are just about to enter into Indiana too. Yeah, it's been pretty good going. Well, that four-wheeler is going way too fast. <laughs> There's only 55 speed limit through here. That's right. But anyways, figured I would show you guys a little bit of Chicago. I know I haven't really shown too much of Chicago lately, so figured, you know what, it's time to show Chicago for a little bit. Although there ain't that much visible right now, but oh well. As soon as we, uh, I think, as soon as we come around this bend, that's where uh, Indiana State Line is. Yeah, that's where it is. So we'll be entering Indiana here. Yeah. Well. Metal lane fuckers be more useful as compost. You should pull yourself over and put a bullet in your fucking head. This is the stuff you hear on the CB radio here sometimes. I hope that didn't offend nobody. Yeah, well, so we are in Indiana. That's right. I would quit. Okay, we'll turn that off. You don't need to... Need to be saying some stupid things on here. Oh, I see that guy's got a camera there on the side of his truck looking backwards that's good that's what I would like to have too fortunately I don't have it but uh, hopefully one of these days I'll have me like a little camera system like that where I have a camera on each side of the truck looking backwards and one or two forward it'll be awesome that way if somebody did something stupid I would have it on camera that's right. Anyways, we'll continue on uh, cruising along throughout here. Alrighty guys and gals, we have decided to go up here to Gary, Indiana. That's right. We're going to go to this petrol truck stop up here to the left. And then uh, we'll go grab us a bite to eat and have our half an hour off. And then we'll continue back on the road. Yeah. As soon as this light will change, we can get into the yard or into the parking lot. There's a fairly big yard too. Yeah, this is a busy, busy intersection, that's for sure. The light had to change just before I got here too. <laughs> Yeah, I don't like to go over red, so we're gonna have to wait till it changes. There we go. Now we got the air. With the arrow. Right up there, that's where the arrow is. Yeah, so 
let's go see if we can find us a good spot somewhere. And we'll have to go inside and have a bite to eat. Yeah. Let's go in here and see if we can hunt us a spot up here somewhere. There should be plenty of parking here now. Matter of fact, there is one right here at the end, so I am thinking about taking that one. Yeah. I'm thinking about taking this one right here at the end. Just gonna make a sharp turn here. There we go. That should work. I managed to make pull that off pretty good. There we go. So I'm back her up just a tiny bit and we're good to go. There we go. So let's go inside and have a, eat, a bite to eat and then we'll see you guys all a little bit later. Now we are back on the interstate. Yeah. <clears throat> just had me a bite to eat and uh, what it is but uh, it seems like if I go to the Gary Indiana Petro there throughout the day time it seems like the service is really crappy up there really slow they don't come around very often check on you when you go there at night service seems to be a lot better like me and trucker jukebox was in there last week Friday and service was awesome I've been in there one time before where I was in there throughout the day and the service was really slow so I don't know it must be the day shift that's uh, don't really care about their customers so I'm gonna have to try and keep that in mind so I don't go there anymore throughout the day but anyways we're back at it again trying to get to uh, Toronto I'm just looking at that truck, he's definitely got a DOT violation. He's got no mud slap there uh, on the driver's side. No, not driver's side, passenger side. That red one there, that's on the second left lane there. Oh well, I guess he's going to be the one having to deal with it once he gets pulled into a DOT inspection. Not me. That's the way it goes. Anyways, let's continue on and see what happens throughout the day. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we are crossing the border into Ontario. This is the Windsor, Ontario Bridge, or Ambassador Bridge. Some people call it Ambassador Bridge. Well, I think that's what it actually is called, but uh, it is the Windsor, Ontario border. Yeah reason why we are in the left lane is because we got a uh, what they call a fast load and so we are technically allowed to be in the left lane because that's considered a fast lane so we are going to try and get up to the fast lane if we can some drivers usually don't like it too much if we are in the left lane but uh, that's what we are allowed to do so it's supposed to be faster process and uh, once I stop here, I'm going to show you a little car that we got to hang on our window. If we stop here. Because I don't want to reach for something when I'm driving, right? So, uh, right now we're still driving, so we'll wait a little bit. Looks like we might come to a stop here pretty soon. Yeah, yeah, that's what it looks like. Oh, it's still rolling, so that's good. This looks like a lot of traffic up here today, that's all. Oh wow, this guy's got some kind of blue lights on them sticks there that he's got up there in the front by his bumper up there, eh? Yeah. Oh, it just seems like we're rolling and rolling and we're not really coming to a stop, so uh, I might have to show you this card a little later or at a later date or a later time. We'll have to see. I'm pretty sure once I get down there, I'm going to come to a stop, but other than that, we're just going to wait. 
But yeah, we'll be in Canada. Well, we are actually in Canada already. So since we crossed that bridge, in the middle of that bridge, that's where uh, the line is from the border. Basically on that side is the United States and this side is Canada. Yeah, that's right. Yep. Here we go. Looks like here we go. Hammer down, hammer down. Yeah, so that looks like we're going to be able to roll right through into the fast lane there. Hopefully they're open today. Usually they are, at least usually one or two lanes they got open for the fast lane, so especially this border crossing. This is a fairly big border crossing. Usually we're supposed to put our four rays on, so I will do that. Once we get closer, we put our four rays on and uh, that lets them know that we got uh, the fast loads. So yeah, so I think right here is about the bottom of the line. That's right, here we go, here we come to a stop, so this is the car that we are uh, supposed to put up here on the window, and let's the border agency know that we are a fast carrier, fast load carrier, so I give you some tips, that's right, I'm giving you some tips, you like that, some of you like that, so, yeah, they actually do have these lanes open over here today, so, Looks pretty tight. You guys probably have never seen me showing you guys this part. Coming to this border is usually, especially this time of the day, it's uh, it's hard. It's a tough one. But we will make it happen. We will. I'm trying to not block that car lane too much. I'm trying to get towards that line there as close as I possibly can. So. So yeah, I'm going to this fast lane up here. All right, we got a security up here that's got a uh, jacket on there. So we'll see where he will direct us to. Yeah, anyways, we'll cut it for, for now and then we'll uh, talk to you guys all a little bit later. Alrighty guys and gals, we are across the border. Yeah, that was very easy crossing there today. Not that much of a traffic lineup actually for the fast lane. Only took us, well, about six minutes from the time we actually got into the lineup there where we actually came to a stop till we actually was across the line. So, or across the actual booth, you know, actual border, I guess you could say. It only took probably about six minutes. Well, that's pretty good. I think that's considered a fast lane. I would say so. Pretty easy going. Yeah, so now we have to try and get through Windsor Ontario. We got about four hours to get to Toronto, so it should be there about 8 o'clock tonight. So that's pretty decent time to get us into Toronto when there's no more, shouldn't be any rush hour traffic there anymore. It's a plan anyways, but they've been doing a lot of construction in this area, so uh, we uh, will see on how it is today, but uh, I do know a subscriber of mine that lives close in this area. I know we've been trying to meet up for a long, long time. It has never worked out yet, so uh, hopefully one day, and I'm not going to be spending the night in Windsor either, so probably not gonna work again today but we are gonna put the hammer down as soon as we are through Windsor as soon as we're done with these traffic lights we can give her again then we'll be in Toronto in no time as they say well guys it looks like it's a bad day out here today look at this truck over here he had an accident with this four-wheeler up here right at the corner of uh, Dixie and uh, Chawson Drive and they are saying that the uh, one person was seriously injured so it's definitely not a good day out here today we got the uh, CTV news uh, crew out there but I figured you know what I could probably get me a close shot up from over here 
so I figured I'd get me a close-up shot up from over here get you guys a bit of a closer shot because I know the GoPro has got a really wide angle so I figured I would give, get me a close-up see what happens but I hope they don't blame the truck driver you know that's uh, never a good thing eh? but anyways we'll uh, get out of the way here and let them people do their thing and go from there hi there G and Kyle yeah to update us on this collision I have constable Rachel Gibbs with us uh, if you can tell us the details of what happened here uh, well we received a call at 9 4 p.m. this evening about a two vehicle collision that happened on uh, Dixie Road and Shawson Drive in Mississauga um, it's a cab of a tractor trailer and, and a vehicle that were involved a car in, in the collision Unfortunately, the driver of the car was pronounced deceased at the scene. Um, he's a 59-year-old male from Toronto. Uh, the driver of the, the cab of the truck and trailer didn't sustain any injuries. Our major collision bureau is on scene and they're investigating. Now, this looks like a steeple crash. Uh, how do you describe the circumstances around it? Actually, Major, it's too early to tell exactly what transpired. The Major Collision Bureau is going to do a thorough investigation sure, to figure out exactly when they're up to this. Okay. Do you know if there was a turn involved at some point? Uh, that, I don't have that information. Uh, no other passengers in the That's right, there was nobody else in the other vehicle. And what will be taking place in this investigation? Uh, well, the Major Collision Bureau does a thorough investigation, looks into the conditions of the roadway, uh, the drivers, um, what the, the light standards were reading at the time, and uh, the, the country of conclusion. Any indication of the target in this case? It's too early to determine that. Were there witnesses around? Uh, they will be canvassing for witnesses. If anybody did see anything, you know, they were asked to please contact. Uh, major, major collision bureau at the police. Thank you so much Thanks. for that. Constable Rachel Gibbs with Peel Police updating us on this very serious... Well, it was a very sad night last night. Somebody did lose their life, as you guys probably saw in my previous clips already. And I did not even finish my show uh, or close my show last night. So uh, I stood outside there for a good while and, you know, looked around and see what was going on and all that stuff and did my uh, little show there with the uh, our OPP and all that, you know, talk to them, you know, and, uh, but yeah, so Sammy Truck and uh, Four Wheeler had a accident there, and as you guys probably saw in that clip, there was a 59 year old woman that had an accident there with the semi truck, uh, they didn't release the age of the uh, semi truck driver, but uh, but yeah, that was a pretty sad uh, sad night there last night. So uh, figured I'd close the show off. I uh, hope you guys all enjoyed today's vlog though. And uh, we'll be back tomorrow morning. So we'll see you guys then.